I am a C5-6 quadriplegic. Very independent for the better part of the first 11 years of my injury. And then I had a coma from an infection. After the coma, I went to a nursing home to get my sitting balance, blood pressure, and respiration back in order. And in that nursing home, I got the worst bed sore I've personally ever seen. It tunneled from my buttocks all the way through and out the other end. But that's just part of my story. I want to talk about the protocols that CNAs are forced to work under in the current nursing home environment. It's one CNA for 12 to 15 patients during the day shift. And I believe from 11 to 7, it's one for every 20 patients. Now, at 12 to 15 patients, that would make it four to five minutes per person per hour. And that's hypothesizing that the CNA can teleport from room to room without washing her hands or getting rid of linen or cleaning the person up. And that's, you know, not every person is total care like me. But let's say 25% of her 12 to 15 patients are total care. If it's turning every two hours like they're supposed to, even if it's just four patients, that's an hour out of their seven and a half hour shift just turning patients. And let's say it's a seven to three shift where they have two meals to pass out and people to feed and trays to pick back up and then to carry the carts back upstairs. I don't know why the kitchen staff doesn't do that job. It is done in the hospital. The kitchen staff passes out the food and brings it back. But no, here, the CNAs do it. And I know I've been very outspoken about the level of care that I'm getting here in the nursing home. But it's not all their fault. I'm going to really start trying to emphasize to the people that are watching my videos that this problem starts with the politics that allow this situation to be the way it is. And it's only through politics that this situation will change.